Hey, listen, this isn't a joke, okay? I'm being serious. Do not buy the Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G. Why? Because the amount of, of uh, benefit that you're getting from that phone does not equal $1,200 or $1,400 or however much ridiculously high that price is, okay? You're not going to use the right, um, reverse wireless charging. Uh, you know, you're probably not going to use the, the, what is it, 8K, 4K recording, whatever, that takes up too much space on your phone. Before you know it, all the space on your phone is going to be finished up anyway. Half of the features of the phone that you're paying all that money for, you're not really going to use. Most of us, the vast majority of us, need a phone that's maybe $400, $500 maximum, and that will fulfill most of our needs. The only time I could say that would justify spending that much money on a phone is... Um, if, it's, if it's a business expense and you just have to have the fastest, most reliable phone that's not going to cause you any problems because it's something that you constantly use every day to make money. If that's your case, then fine. But the vast majority of us, I'm telling you, me included, right? I use my phone for work as well. At the same time, um, it, I don't need one with the absolute perfect camera, you know. And, and to be honest, man, if you take two of these pictures and put them next, next to each other, you can't really tell the difference. They say that the camera on Samsung is the best, but the camera on some of these other phones is not really that much, not really much uh, further behind. So please, um, do your research. Spend some time. Do go on Google and look up, you know, best phones for um, five hundred dollars, best phones for four hundred dollars, or whatever your price range is. And I and I, I guarantee you will find something that meets all of your needs that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Talk to you guys later. Assalamualaikum.